Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Hellbroker. This is a very fast-paced little action platformer shooter that kind of feels a little bit like Cookie Clicker crossed with Super Crate Box. And I know that's sort of a weird thing to want to combine together, but you'll see it actually is quite cohesive and a lot of fun uh, that I, well, I've noticed that in the last five minutes or so, which is uh, the amount of time I've spent while I was doing my sound check and stuff. Uh, this was designed for the Indie Speedrun 2013. You can see the website there. It's something like a game jam. Uh, although I believe there are a bunch of caveats to that, so you want to go over and check that out uh, on your time if you feel like it. And I think we should just jump right into the game because I think that is going to be the best way to show it off. So, uh, movement, jump, shoot, use computer, invest, buy next, equip. So those are all different keys. Uh, as you can see, this looked a little bit intimidating at first, but once you see how the game actually plays, most of this stuff isn't really a thing that you need to be aware of as much. It just becomes second nature. So during the game, use the computer to invest your money or expend it with better weapons. Keep constantly investing, increase your revenue faster so you may purchase better weapons faster. Don't let the candle of Rufus or Rofus uh, and extinguishes. Don't let the candle of Rofus and the entire hell stock market extinguish. Invest and fight until you reach the ultimate weapon and obliterate the mad demons. Rufus uses money to shoot his gun, so spend wisely. So there's the, the counterpoint here. Every time we shoot our weapon, we're spending a little bit of our money. As we get better weapons, we shoot uh, more money, <laughs> but we also do more damage, so we want to try and stay ahead of the curve if possible. So let's do a, do a couple of rounds here and see how this goes. Uh, first things first, there's a computer. We want to invest. We need $10 to do so, though, and in order to uh, get $10, well, we just need to wait because our money slowly increases. So there's $10. We'll spend it on that computer terminal. We just got hit by that demon. Uh, you'll see I only have four heart containers over on the left there, and some life will occasionally show up uh, on those top-tier platforms occasionally. So we got to watch out for that uh, and also make our way around to more computer terminals. And eventually, we should have enough investments that getting to the $100 mark is not such a big deal. Okay, that heart container actually fell uh, to where I could grab it. So I'm back at full health again. Uh, this one should be the... Oh, jeez. All right. No, no, get out of there. I want to actually buy this better gun because it's actually a spread fire. But you'll see the money goes everywhere, which is uh, not good for me. But it is nice to be able to eliminate so many foes at the same time. I assume things will get much more difficult as we wait. And there are actually new demons uh, introduced, and I just lost. It gets pretty chaotic pretty fast. You can probably see uh, what I meant now when I said there's a little bit like Super Crate Box meets Cookie Clicker. Hell broke loose, so let's uh, let's start another round, because this game is awfully addictive. Uh, for some reason, the music seems to go away between rounds, too. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, I can't shoot that guy. What's up with that? That guy was, like, immortal for some reason. I guess it's just immortal demon sometimes. Well, this game was most likely designed in a short period of time. I'm not ex exactly sure what the constraints are for this particular game jam or game jam-like contest. Uh, so there may be some bugs. Take that under advisement. Hopefully not too big of a deal. Oh, he doesn't actually exist. He can't hurt me either. So I guess I'm kind of cool with him existing then. He's fine. I should mention this game is totally free to play. If you want to go ahead and try it out, there's actually a browser version that you can use on the Unity web player, uh, which I'm told that the Unity web player might be on its way out, uh, that there is some either competing technology or that just browsers aren't supporting it anymore, which is kind of unfortunate considering so many of the games I play use that, uh, at least for the channel, I mean. And we should be almost to the investment point again where we can buy that second gun. We're still doing pretty well. Uh, probably when you make that investment is when the next set of demons show up. Can I go to the... Oh, I thought I could Pac-Man my way around to the other side of the world. I want to comment, though, I think this game is really well done. It's got some really good things to it. I mean, it's very addictive, for one thing, which is, you know, it's not too hard to imagine a way to make a game addictive nowadays. There are a lot of tropes that become sort of commonly used, uh, but this one also has some nice graphics to back it up. Animation style is quite nice. Uh, and it's got some f uh, frantic, sort of frenetic play to it. The only thing I have to say that's really annoying is the sound of the coins clinking. Uh, especially because it's so much louder than the music. It just gets a little frustrating after you start shooting a bunch of times and all you hear is that clinking sound. There should just be a little option to turn down the uh, sound effects versus the music, I think. Can't seem to hurt that demon for some reason. Uh, oh, he just takes a bunch of shots, so I guess I need to work on upgrading my weapon some more. I did try to turn the sound volume down low enough so you can not hopefully be too annoyed by the sound of the coins, but 
Hopefully we'll turn it into dollar bills soon, and then we won't even have to worry if that's a thing that happens. It might be, it might not be, I don't know. Let's buy this, uh, next gun. Alright, so now we've got, like, a machine gun, which, uh, I don't know, probably a good thing to have. Let's continue to invest. Okay, that's the invincible guy again. He keeps showing up. Uh, it's pretty interesting, too, that this is such a strange concept, and it works so well. You know, investing in stocks in hell seems like a thing that you probably wouldn't find very interesting or very entertaining, but I think the, uh, the concept was very well executed. You know, it's kind of funny, it's kind of cute, uh, it's... I don't know, it rides the line in a lot of good ways, so... So far, I am very much approving of this, uh, formula, and I can't seem to get out of this... Yeah, alright. Kind of trapped myself there on that one. But that's a decent score, I guess, well, better than I did last time. Hell broke loose. We have $690, or 690 money, and 7,600 in scores. So I guess with that, we'll wrap up the episode. So it's going to be a shorter one today for uh, a bunch of reasons that I won't get into for now. But uh, I think, regardless, that's probably all you needed to see to get a feel for what this game's about anyway. Recommend you play it. Let me know what your high scores are. Let me know what kind of crazy things happen as you get further in. Uh, if there is a way to, you know, get really far in the game, like it does... You know, does thing do things break loose to the degree uh, that there are just insane boss demons or anything on screen? I'd love to know that if I can't actually make it there myself, although I should probably give it a few more tries. It's a tricky game, I think, just requires uh, some careful attention and uh, the ability to navigate all of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, all over, really enjoyed Hellbroker. You know, great theme, uh, great visuals, great sound, uh, with the exception of the coin clinking sounds, kind of annoying. Uh, but I recommend it. Go Pocket Trap. Good guys. So uh, that will be it for another episode, guys. Make sure you check out the description for the download link if you want to try this out yourself, or rather the Play Online link, because it will be a web browser version. I'm not aware of a client download for this one. And, of course, my other social media links are going to be in the description as well. Stuff like my Facebook page, my Twitch page, and, of course, Indie-Impressions.com, where I have over 550 other episodes of this series. If you want to go check them out, they're all neatly sorted and categorized for you. And that is going to do it for another episode, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you come back tomorrow. New episodes are every single day, so I will see you back then and I hope you have a lovely night. Later!